Could the discovery of the Ark of the Covenant be revealed soon after the Mark of the Beast? These are probably two things I bet you've never heard mentioned in the same sentence before. But just in case you missed my last couple videos, I'm going to fill you in on what I mean. I introduced you to a man named Ron Wyatt who claimed that he discovered the Ark of the Covenant about 20 feet below Christ's crucifixion site in Jerusalem back in the 1980s. So yes, apparently they've known about this for a long time. But why wouldn't he reveal it to the world? Because after all, this is a huge discovery, right? And I see y'all in the comments that are saying like, where's the proof fad and this whole thing is a hoax, blah, 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 blah. So pay attention. From Ron Wyatt's account, God told him that there would be too many people that would have negative intentions with this kind of information. So he kept it secret in obedience to what the Lord had said. But God did reveal that the discovery of the Ark would be made public at an appointed time. Did you hear that, everyone? All my non-Christian friends. All I'm doing is sharing a fraction of this man's story and how it aligns with Scripture completely. So if you don't understand Old and New Testament context, then I don't know what to tell you. You may have more learning to do. And how about y'all relax because you can believe whatever you want to believe. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that Jesus is coming back and you need to repent. But back to the subject, I digress. Here's where things get really interesting and crazy and fascinating to me. Ron Wyatt said that on his fourth visit back to the Ark site, years later after they had excavated the room where the Ark was, four angels appeared to him. They told him that they were there to protect the Ark, but then also told him to set up his camera to capture everything on film. The angels then lifted up the mercy seat, which estimated around 900 pounds of solid gold, and told him to take out the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments and show them to the camera. Here's what the angel said next, that the evidence of Christ's blood that fell onto the ark at the crucifixion, as well as the stone tablets with the Ten Commandments and the ark, would only be revealed to the public when the Mark of the Beast law is passed and enforced by the National Sunday Laws. Has that happened yet? No. If you saw my last video, then you know that these new laws will enforce worship to the beast and will include specific man-made laws that will contradict God's Ten Commandments. Watch this. Hope you all paying attention. Psalm 89, 34. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Also, Acts 15, 16 through 17 says, After this I will return and will rebuild the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down. I will rebuild its ruins. I will set it up so that the rest of mankind may seek the Lord. Even all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord who does all these things. So what is my point and what do I think all of this means? It's all about the timing. If the testimony of Ron Wyatt is accurate, it means that after the mark of the beast comes, the proof of the ark and the Ten Commandments will be made public for all to see. It is my belief that God told Ron Wyatt that the ark would be revealed at this specific time in order to show yet again that he is the one true God. The Antichrist will try to deceive the entire world as we know will happen. But God in his grace and mercy will give everyone one last opportunity to repent and turn back to him before making the worst mistake of their life by taking the mark of the beast. 1 Timothy 2, 4-6, through God wants everyone to be saved and to fully understand the truth. There is only one God and there is only one way that people can reach God. That way is through Christ Jesus, who as a man gave himself to pay for everyone to be free. This is the message that was given to us at just the right, what's the word? Time. And at just the right time, yet again, the Lord will reveal himself to the world through his covenant so that the lost will be saved and will turn back to Jesus so that the rest of mankind may seek the Lord. It is time to repent. In my spirit right now, I feel this warning to share this revelation with as many people as I can. So please like, save, and comment below and share this with a few friends so they know what's coming. I love y'all. See y'all soon.